Beijing has announced further agreements with India on the de-escalation of military presence along select areas of their contested boundary, indicating a decrease in the long-standing tensions between the two nuclear-capable nations. During a press briefing, a spokesperson from the Chinese Defense Ministry highlighted that discussions have led to reduced disagreements and enhanced mutual understanding concerning troop withdrawal at the border. The spokesperson, Zhang Xiaogang, stated in a briefing transcript that continuous diplomatic and military engagements have facilitated ongoing dialogue on these issues. Zhang emphasized the commitment to deepening discussions, addressing mutual concerns responsibly, and expediting a satisfactory resolution for both parties. Relations between China and India have been strained since a deadly encounter in June 2020 along the Himalayan border, which resulted in casualties on both sides. Following this, over 50 rounds of talks have taken place, gradually improving the situation. Recent diplomatic exchanges, including interactions between China's Foreign Minister Wang Yi and Indian Foreign Minister Subramanyam Jashankar in Laos this past July, as well as discussions involving India's National Security Advisor Ajit Doval during the BRICS summit in Russia have contributed to this progress. Furthermore, Jai Shankar, in a recent address in New York, mentioned that approximately 75% of the disengagement process in the eastern Ladakh area has been completed. He underscored ongoing challenges related to patrol activities up to the line of actual control, highlighting this as a focal issue for further negotiations. This video provides an in-depth analysis of the recent de-escalation initiatives and historical tensions in the Sino-Indian border dispute highlighting key diplomatic engagements, including discussions at the BRICS summit. It examines the roles of BRICS and Russia in mediating these tensions and explores the strategic implications of these relationships on regional stability and international geopolitics. The Sino-Indian border dispute has a complex historical background, rooted in colonial legacies and evolving through significant geopolitical developments over centuries. The origins of the dispute trace back to the ambiguous demarcations left by the British Empire. Initially, the borders in the western sector, such as Aksai Chin, were vaguely defined. Early treaties, such as the Treaty of Chushul between the Sikh Empire and Tibet in 1842, did not clearly demarcate this border, leading to conflicting claims by the successor states. During the British era, various lines were proposed, like the Johnson Line in 1865, which included Aksai Chin within British India, but these were not recognized by China. The Simla Conference of 1914 attempted to define the borders more clearly, introducing the McMahon Line, which included large tracts of what is today Arunakal Pradesh within Indian territory. However, China did not recognize this demarcation leading to ongoing disputes. After India's independence and the establishment of the People's Republic of China, the border issue remained dormant initially, as both countries focused on diplomatic relations. However, the situation deteriorated due to unilateral actions and misunderstandings culminating in the Sino-Indian War of 1962. This conflict saw China taking control of Aksai Chin, a strategic area that it has since considered vital due to its linkages to Xinjiang and Tibet. In the decades following the war, despite several rounds of talks and agreements aimed at reducing tensions, the lack of a clear and mutually accepted demarcation continued to lead to sporadic clashes, the most significant of which occurred in 2020 in the Galwan Valley. This incident underscored the ongoing strategic and nationalistic tensions that pervade the region, influenced heavily by both countries' internal politics and perceptions of security. Let's take a quick pause. Could you do us a favor? If you enjoy our content, please hit the like button. To help even more, leave your thoughts and feedback in the comments. Your engagement helps us grow. Thank you. The BRICS group, which includes both India and China as founding members, has been a forum for addressing various global governance issues and coordinating policies among diverse countries. However, the protracted rivalry between India and China has at times overshadowed the group's activities particularly after significant clashes such as the one in Ladakh's Galwan Valley. While BRICS provides a platform for dialogue and has potential as a pacifying force, the persistent tensions between India and China pose challenges to its functionality and objectives in smoothing over bilateral disputes. 
The BRICS summits have provided a platform for India and China to engage in direct dialogue concerning their border disputes despite the overall strained relations due to their long-standing territorial conflicts. For example, during the 2023 BRICS summit in Johannesburg, Prime Minister Narendra Modi and President Xi Jinping held discussions which were described as candid and in-depth, where they addressed unresolved issues along the line of actual control (LAC) that separates the two countries. These discussions were significant as they were among the rare occasions when both leaders openly engaged on this sensitive subject at an international forum. During their meeting, Modi emphasized the importance of peace and tranquility in the border areas, which are crucial for the normalization of relations between India and China. The leaders agreed to intensify efforts towards expeditious disengagement and de-escalation of forces along the disputed border. The meetings between Modi and Xi at BRICS summits, including prior informal interactions, underscore the group's potential role in facilitating high-level dialogue between the two nations. Despite the tensions, these engagements highlight how BRICS serves as a critical venue for dialogue outside the bilateral framework, potentially aiding in the management and resolution of disputes. Russia has played a nuanced role in the China-India border dispute leveraging its strategic relationships and historical ties with both countries to facilitate dialogue and reduce tensions. Russia's involvement as a mediator is partly influenced by its significant arms trade with India, ensuring that India remains equipped and confident in its defense capabilities. This relationship is crucial for Russia, as it also helps prevent India from moving towards closer military alliances with the United States, which could threaten Russia's strategic interests in the region. Historically, the relationship between Russia, India and China has been marked by efforts to form a trilateral coalition, which Russia has promoted since the late 1990s. This initiative aims to balance Western influence and foster collaboration among the three large Eurasian powers. The concept of Greater Eurasia, which Russia envisions as a major cooperative bloc consisting of key regional players including India and China, underscores Moscow's strategic interest in mitigating conflicts that could disrupt regional stability and its geopolitical ambitions. Russia's approach to mediation often involves a combination of diplomatic engagement and strategic positioning, similar to its actions in other regional conflicts where it has employed what is known as coercive mediation. This method has been evident in Russia's dealings in Syria and Libya, where it has combined military involvement with negotiation efforts to shape outcomes favorably. Overall, while Russia's mediation efforts in the China-India dispute are significant, they are also constrained by the complex dynamics of its bilateral relationships with both nations. Moscow's ability to influence peace in the region is pivotal, but should not be overestimated, as the primary responsibility to resolve the conflict ultimately rests with Beijing and New Delhi. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching this video. We sincerely appreciate you joining us today. If our content resonated with you or sparked inspiration, please consider expressing your support by liking it and subscribing to stay connected with our community. Your support holds immense value for us. You can watch another video of our channel which is now on the screen.